Hello everyone and welcome back to Elden Ring. In the last session, we have explored a decent amount of the Altus Plateau. Nothing past this bridge. Nothing to the right of this bridge, but we have explored... Actually, no, tell a lie, we did explore this, which is to the right. But mostly just sticking on this side. And uh, there's still a ton we haven't actually explored. Like, I'm pretty sure we never went down here. Uh, and there's a few ruins and stuff like this I don't think we've seen. So there's still lots to do, but... We found a path over to Mount Gelmir, and uh, we are now down in the Gelmir Hero's Grave uh, with 13,000 souls on us, which I am fully expecting to lose. I've resigned myself to the fact that... Hello? Go away. That was weird. It won't let you attack while that thing's on your screen. <laughs> I've resigned myself to the fact that I will not be making it out with these 13,000 souls. Mostly because when we reached the door, someone was like, despair ahead or something. So, no joy ahead, don't give up. So yeah, this is this is probably pretty hard, so we'll see how it goes. I'm probably going to be losing all my souls. I can't take this, why is it always suffering? God, is it really that bad? Trap ahead, therefore try left. Good luck ahead, and then seek left. I want to go home. What's the trap? The lava? What is that? Uh... Wait. Oh no. How do I... I don't think I have time, do I? I'm confused. <laughs> it doesn't seem as though I have time to make it to the next thing. Like, with the best will in the world, I'm going to get, like, halfway there. There's no way. I think I'm supposed to get there before it wakes up. But then the skeletons are going to fuck me. But I think that's the only way to do it. I don't think after it comes up, because it starts way further down. Hmm. Alright, let's fucking go. So long, my souls. Oh! Lava fucked it. Okay, so this one, it goes all the way to the bottom. So I can get over there. is to the right there. Okay, I think I go when it goes past me down. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Funny. 
Okay, this one will be when it goes up, I think. Let's double check, though. Yeah. I mean, Makai is kind of in the middle, but we'll have longer if we wait until it goes up. We've got a jump to make over to the left. Here we go. <sighs> oh, okay. Grave Glove Watch 7. All right, all right. Is there anything more down there? There is. But you'd have to touch the lava to do it. Time for stay calm. Be wary of left. Man, the fact that you have to... Like, there's not going to be any more checkpoints because it's a dungeon. So, the fact that you have to do this every time you want to get back here. Little yikes. Little bit yikes. Page garb and perfumer's bolt. Did anyone wake up from that? No. Uh, page garb. Page garb. Garb worn by pages who serve the nobility and are mindful to keep them out of harm's way. Traveling wear tailored with exquisite precision. Oh shit! Damn. Uh, Travelling wear tailored with exquisite precision to avoid any undue shame for the page's master. Was it perfumer's bolts? Why are they equipped? Uh, used by nobles, guards, and the like. The point of impact explodes with sparks dealing fire damage. Do these weigh? Do these have any weight? They don't, right? I can just have them on. I guess that's fine then. I haven't really noticed this doing much, but I guess like it's just been long enough that I don't really remember. I suppose what it used to be. But I wonder how much. I wonder how good this actually is. Grave Glove Wart 6. Was that what we needed? Did we need 6 or do we need... F I think we need 5, right? Seven? Oh my god, okay. Well, we're certainly getting... Certainly getting some good shit. There's someone down here. More seven. Six. Okay, okay. <laughs> Bye. I miss, fuck's sake. Nice. 
Nice. Ghost glove wart seven. That's the different kind, right? Grave glove wart is the regular sort, and ghost is the fucking dope sort. <laughs> Trap ahead. Yeah. Yeah, it looks that way. Be wary of sentry. I'm wary of losing 19,000 souls is what I'm wary of. It's so much. Okay. Be wary of left and then be wary of right. Ambush ahead. I'm not seeing it. Is it down the very is it the very last bit? Uh yeah, okay. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> hmm. How would I go? Is it is it two of the same? Yeah, it's two of these fuckers. I feel like I'm gonna die. <laughs> I really feel like I'm gonna die. Oh, fuck. Let's just find out what it is! Are they gonna chase me all the way? You know what? If they just stay there, then that's great. Oh god, hello. Another one of these fucking things. Is that a dead end up there? Okay, here we go, here we go. Go! Oh no, it's gonna turn this way, isn't it? Oh my fucking god. I realized it. Oh my fuck, what is you? I'm dead, I'm dead, I don't believe it. What is that? God damn it. That is a hellish, <laughs> a hellish fucking journey. Goodness gracious me. Do we go again? I don't know if there's any point. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. I'm too, I've got too little health. I really should have focused on health earlier. Let's give it one more go. Let's give it one more go. But if it doesn't, if it's not happening, then we're moving on. Because <laughs> this is this is a very long journey. Like, two, two attempts of this is going to take the entire part, basically, so...
Bye! <laughs> Am I waiting? For yeah, this one. This one is a wait until it goes to the top one. I'm so curious what the thing is down the bottom there. Because there is absolutely something to jump to over there. But with 20k souls on the line. I guess I'm not finding out right this instant. to me, dickhead. Whew. Now, where's the other dude? He's over there. Hello, bro. Those guys are a little bit scary. Oh, the fire stays off. Interesting, I hadn't considered. I haven't considered that possibility. Right. The people reset, the traps do not. Cool. Well, no need to go down there. Still curious if there's anything to see up that way, but I don't think there is. <laughs> the, the message said no right ahead, so... Oh, you don't have the right. Oh, you don't have the right. No, you don't have the right. Therefore, you don't have the right. I guess I'll listen. Haha. <laughs> you dead, bitch. Haha. <laughs> you dead, bitch. <laughs> so, are my souls just in that corner over there? I think they are, right? Sacrificial twig time? I'm thinking it might be sacrificial twig time. Oh, there's a place to drop off the edge. Hmm. Well, we'll have to see about that if we survive getting our souls back. following me down here? No. You are one creepy fucker. <laughs> one dead fucker, I think. <laughs> First off, well done. 
strong foe ahead. Oh, goody. Oh, goody. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that strong foe. Well, we've still got the twig on. And it does save me, right? Yeah, we'll be lost on death in place of fruit. So... I guess let's fucking have him. I can't summon my doggos, can I? No. Seek ladder. Oh. Is this safe? <laughs> Can he come up here? Is that a it looks like the dude from the jail. Hey, bruh. Oh, you don't have the right. No, you don't have the right. Therefore, you don't have the right. Oh, you don't have the right. Eat shit. Bitch. Root resin. Okay, let's head back down. Man, I would not have seen that ladder if that message wasn't there. Fucking brilliant. This is why this system is so good. Bloodhound Knight Helm, Bloodhound Knight Armor. Hello, hello. This is why I really like the fucking, like, not really but sort of uh, multiplayer aspect of these games. A way for players to help each other without actually, like, being there, but you can leave messages that other people will see and lead to their triumph over struggle and everything. It's just, a, it's a really good system. It's a really good system. Very, very reminiscent of, um, like, Death Stranding as well. With its, um, like, when players do stuff, like, they build roads in their game and then other players see those roads in their game too and stuff. Metal Helm with a pointed beak. Worn by the Bloodhound Knights. The Bloodhound Knights are trained as hunters and known to be unshakable trackers. Without the use of language, each knight chooses its own master. Once the decision has been made, the knight stays loyal for life. So I guess this one is loyal to the hero. The hero's grave, whatever this is called. Uh, <laughs> where is it? Where is it? There it is. It is the same. Which means the rest will be two. Behold, armor. Oh my god! <laughs> Gelmir Knight Helm. Gelmir Knight Armor. Wow, we just got two full sets? Okay. Two full sets. That is a rarity. The Gelmir Knight Helm. Worn by knights once loyal to Praetor Rikard. Its crest of red feathers symbolizes Rikard's pedigree as Lord Radigan's son. Okay. Interesting. Interesting, because Rikard is one of the shard bearers. And all the shard bearers are demigods, right? But I thought all demigods were the sons of uh, Godfrey, the first Elden Lord. But this guy is not the son of Godfrey, America's first husband. He is the son of Radigan, America's second husband. Interesting. So is it... Hmm. Is it Marika that confers demigod status then and not Godfrey? Not the first Elden Lord being the dad? It's actually the queen being the mum that confers demigod status? Or is he not a demigod? I thought... I don't know. I may be mistaken in thinking that all... Uh, all shard bearers are demigods. But I thought that was the case. I thought all the people that had pieces of the Elden Ring were direct descendants of Marika and... Godfrey. But clearly not quite, because that is a direct descendant of Radigan instead. Curious. Curious. I'm 
sure there'll be more to learn about their whole lineage and everything. Probably in the Royal City, in fact, which we are very close to. It'll be a while before we actually get to it, but... We're close. Ah, right. So... Let's see. Classic, you don't have the right moment coming up, I think. Am I full health? Yes. Where am I? Oh god. Wait, it's all lava? I don't understand. There's no safe point to jump to. Oh. I ride on top of it. I'm, that's why I was wondering why it gets so slow here for a minute. It's because I'm supposed to fucking drop down on top of it. Okay. Why is there... There's an item just hanging in the air. What? <laughs> I think that must be the... The black ghost dude. The black ghost dude must have been knocked off the edge by this thing and then it like died in midair and it just it just dropped its thing there. Okay, we'll wait for this to go away so that I don't if I fuck it up I don't fail. But I'm pretty sure you're supposed to ride this bitch to the bottom. Nice. Okay, so... <laughs> let's see how this goes then. Still got the twig on, so... So is it just... I think we just... Yeah, we just walk off, I think. We'll do it next time. Oh, I'm nervous. This is nerve-wracking. Here we go. Here we go. Boop. Hell yeah. Oh, it's so fast. Oh, God. Oh, and then we jump over there, I guess. Yeah, okay. <laughs> this is sick. This is absolutely terrifying, but sick. It's kind of hard to jump that. Oh, okay. <laughs> Made it. Made it. That was a very nerve-wracking jump. I don't know how I didn't take more damage than I did, honestly. <laughs> I did it. Wait, but the door's shut. Was I supposed to find a lever somewhere? Don't you need a lever to open these? Or can I just... Oh, I can just push it open? Oh, right, because it's not the boss door. Okay. <laughs> There's still more. There's still more. Oh, wait, is it the boss door? Oh, it might actually be the boss door. There is a statue here. Okay. First off, well done. Offer not here. If only I had a friend. Time for boss. Precious item ahead, still no friend. Okay, now the question is, is it worth having the sacred branch? Because I can just spawn at the stake of Marika every time. And potentially just run in and get my shit back. But also... That means I have to run in and get my shit back every time. <laughs> oh. But I mean, there's nothing else I can do. Short of... Leaving. 
and spending them. Which I could. I mean, not right now, I can... Huh, we're actually closer to the subterranean inquisition chamber than we are to the point we started this dungeon at. That's interesting. I guess I'll keep the twig on, and we'll see what the boss is like. I doubt I'll first try it. I'm gonna drink my s other Cerulean Tears flask, I guess, so that I can summon doggos. Does mean I won't have any flasks available in there, which is very unfortunate. But I think doggos are probably more of a priority. So I guess we'll only have four spells we can cast. I'm also wondering if the room's going to be like full of lava. Yeah, okay. So we'll see how this goes. If it seems like we have a chance, then I guess we'll spawn at the thing of Marika. Because it will give us the option. If it seems like I'm not going to have a chance, then I'll go back to the site of grace. Well, actually, I might go back to the site of grace either way. Because now I know, now I'm fairly confident in getting to this door. Like, I get the run. It's a bit of a, it's a bit of a journey, but I get it. And I can do it again. And I would hate to lose a full level of souls. So we might just, we might just go back either way. Unless we first try it. But, honestly, I'm thinking that is not going to happen. <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay, enough talking. Let's fucking give it a fang, shall we? Red Wolf. Oh, wait, it's the thing from Raya Lucaria, is it? Red Wolf of the Champion. It looks like the thing from Raya Lucaria. Oh, that hurt. Oh, shit. What's he doing? <laughs> Don't hurt my boys! Oh my goodness, that's a hell of a lot of damage. He does take a hell of a lot of damage as well, though. Fuck. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Well, I mean, it's definitely doable. We got him pretty low. We can deal a lot of damage to him. If I'd had my, uh, if I'd had my spells in there, then we could have absolutely beaten that. Uh, just, you know, hit him a few times whilst doggies are distracting him and stuff. But, uh, I'm not losing this level, so <laughs> we're going back to the side of grace. At the cost of your sacrificial. <laughs> it's not got enough words to say the full thing. That's funny. Boop. Vigor. Nice. That was almost exactly, oh my god, we're almost at 30k for a level. <laughs> <laughs> level 70 though level fucking 70 not too shabby right okay well we know what we're doing we no longer need to worry about our souls let's do it again <laughs>